So, um, alright guys, so I'm out of the camp again today. Um, <laughs> but I think that's a, a coal tip going mental there in the in the trees. Um, and uh, trying to work, just testing a little um, new mic because uh, the sound's always been a bit, the sound quality's always been a bit gash on some of the um, the previous videos anyway. But um, basically, um, today I was going to talk a little bit about loading, um, the material uh, loading. I've, I've done, um, if you go into the, the website Falcon Outdoors, there's a little write up about loading, a bit about the history and stuff like that. So I don't really want to go into too much depth. Um, so, um, but basically, I want to just chat a little bit about this jacket, a little bit of a, an intro to this jacket because I've been having to use this for. Sort of the best part of the last year. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Loden it's it's a sort of more denser uh, processed wool that uh, comes from the Alpine region. Um, and there's a couple of sort of Loden products that I would use: um, shirts, a couple of jackets, and some different like um, accessories and whatnot. Um, but um, Today I'm going to talk about this jacket. It's it's a brand. The brand's called Load and Walker. Um, they're from Austria. Now it's said that Loden was invented in in the Alps. So it's it's always a bit of a mix-up between sort of the Bavarian guys or the German guys and then the the Austrians. They're constantly sort of you know each one says they invented it, um, but basically it, it's an Alpine product. Um, but you do get it in in other countries like you know Scandinavia and whatnot. I think the closest the closest thing over here that we, we would have to load in uh, would be Tweed. Um, but like like I say, there's a couple of brands I use. Again, I'll you can pop to the website and they there's some um, links on there uh, and I'll I'll put some more stuff in the comments. So um, Load and Walker, Load and Walker, they're about 600 years old. So that's pretty old for a for a, a clothing company um, and then a lot of the other companies that are knocking about in the region would be you know close to that even the younger sort of companies would be 50 60 years old um, and load and obviously it was used by the guys in the Alps because of the, the weather basically um, and some of the early pioneers of the uh, sort of Himalayan expeditions that's what they would have used uh, load and to go up there it's, it is very retro um, but it still it still has all the you know the aspects and will still beat a lot of modern like alternatives. But I'll go over this jacket. So as you can see, this is this is the Load and Walker jacket. Um, I'll get some close-ups in a minute. Um, your typical sort of good. I've really been like, abusing it in the woods, you know, like um, humping logs and, and and working every day all day. Um, you got the. Um, your, your typical y, YKK zips. What I find, I've seen this with a, a few other jackets actually, um, with this one it's not an issue, but I do have other jackets that, where they have that, that, that zip where it comes at the bottom, there's uh, and you do it up, sometimes if there's no little catch down there, I find that this the, the bottom zip might ride up a little bit. So I'd say, but I, it's not an issue with this jacket. I do have other jackets that, that's been like, and sometimes you find they have like a little, just a little tag that will come across there and that'll keep it sort of together. Um, they don't have that with this one. Here you've got, you know, decent sort of pockets. You know, uh, again, that's a preference thing. Some people might like, you know, especially like combat smocks, there's tons of pockets, um, but that's enough for me personally. There's another little additional one here. Um, you know, you could probably pop a little compass or something in there. That's the only one sort of out of the ordinary on, on that. Um, to tighten your cuffs, um, it's got like a, a basically like a sort of brass buckle. I'll come up a bit closer. You can see that all right. Just a brass buckle you can tie up. So that's quite a nice little sort of touch again, quite retro, different to your sort of Velcro stuff. Um, a lot of the big thing about loading is that obviously it's used for hunters as well, so being quiet is a, is a massive thing. Um, then the hood, I'll just get it off for a bit. The hood here, it's an un 
unzip up all hood so you can tighten it you can actually tighten it there as, as pretty much normal you can take it off this is another issue that I sort of find with I haven't really had any major issues like that but if you're wearing it out and about quite a bit um, this sort of will, will tend to sort of zip back to there a little bit you know an inch or two um, but again it doesn't it, it doesn't come off or anything like that um, Load and Walker the brand themselves they're quite they're quite broad so they they, they do offer a lot of stuff for, for hunting and the outdoors and stuff but they're actually sort of they have quite a sort of big line um, that all you know they'll actually do stuff sort of into the sort of fashion um, industry as well I think there's a video knocking about of like Arnold Schwarzenegger he buys some of his stuff there as well so some of it will be also geared towards looks another thing about this jacket here is it's got like a internally it's got another layer in here and then it's got these sort of nice smooth arms which is great if you're wearing something like woolly underneath or or loading as well it won't stick so like other loading jackets that they, they might just sort of stick to your your your, your mid layer um, so that's quite a nice feature you know um, so it's quite easy to put on you've got like some internal pockets there now with loading I'll show you actually the um, that's quite a, a good one the, the sort of washing instructions there right um, interesting thing about that you probably notice that everything's pretty much crossed out <laughs> doesn't mean you can't wash it but you're not supposed to wash loading um, you there's a few different ways uh, so load and walker they just recommend if you had any marks or anything on there you would just use it with a bit of water maybe a bit of um, mixed in uh, white vinegar um, there's a company in Canada uh, Boreal Mountain Anoraks, um, great firm. Um, there's a video that they've done as well, and uh, you smoke your loading, so you'd almost have like a tripod set up, and um, you could put your jacket on that, and the smokehouse uh, actually cleans it as such. So, um, which is probably a nice feature if you're outdoors every day. You don't want to be like going home if you're not like obviously if you're if you're camping out. It's a different issue, but um, if you're going home every day, you know, changing your clothes, washing clothes, um, loading sort of keeps, it doesn't hold odours, so you can sit round the fire all day long, and it will never, you won't come home smelling the smoke with this stuff. Don't have to wash it, and it can take, it can take an ember. So if you're sitting around a fire that's going to be spitting, uh, spitting at you, then it doesn't really, it's not a big deal if, if an ember hits it. Um, so uh, that's one of the good things. The only thing I would say with with loading as a as a, a sort of material, it's quite sort of the, the disadvantage of it. Disadvantages would be that it's, it can be sort of on the heavier side and bulky. Um, so if you're going on like sort of a, a, a lengthier hike or something to you know have that in your pack or whatever, it would, you know it would probably be a disadvantage uh, that way. And then I. A lot of load and stuff um, you know the price will be sort of on the higher end and stuff but then again that's uh, you know every that sort of personal choice isn't it um, what people want to spend so um, but again it's all locally made um, a lot of companies outside of the Alps that are um, making load and products they'll mix in other materials or synthetic materials um, which might bring the price down or they're getting made in Southeast Asia or whatnot but whereas Load and Walker and there's obviously there's other brands as well they are they are basically made in Austria or in Bavaria if it's if it's another brand so so you're you're basically paying for that um, but again I think it's worth it what other people think uh, it's, it's their own it's their own decision so anyway guys that is the Load and Walker uh, the Load and Walker Bad brand. I will be doing a couple of other Load and brands. There's a couple of other little items um, that we've got that we want to sort of in introduce. Um, um, just a quick one on sort of water as well. It is water resistant, but not waterproof. So um, it'll um, 
I reckon it'll probably hold off a good shower for like two hours before it'll start coming through. Um, I have what we call a, um, a load and weather fleck as well that comes over. It's like a sort of short poncho. You almost look like a um, little red riding hood in it, to be honest, but or Robin Hood. But it will keep the water off for a good couple of hours, but then afterwards it will get, it will come through. So that's it, guys. Um, load and walker. Um, I hope this does spark a few interests. But like I say, if you do want any more info, and especially on like the history, get on the website, get in the comments, um, or just ask us a few questions directly on on, on YouTube, and I can uh, and I can answer them for you. So see you soon, guys.